I'll be giving away 3 diamond pass rails for the new P.E.K.K.A evolution. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment down below. Yo, what's going on guys? Today, we're gonna be going for as long of a win streak as possible in Clash Rail with Hog Earthquake. Let me know in the comment section how long your longest win streak ever was inside of Clash Rail. This guy does have the Mega Knight right out of the gate. Evo Mega Knight will be coming pretty soon into the game, I think in about a week and a half or so. Will be a pretty difficult time. I'm honestly not sure how broken it'll be. I feel like the card itself is insanely broken, but P.E.K.K.A is also really popular, so it could kind of counteract it, even though it should be very broken. I'll go for another Hog Rider. He's not back to his Mega Knight yet, or Prince, so this could get some nice damage. By the way, guys, I'm still a tiny bit sick, so my voice might sound a little bit different, but I'm pretty much fully better besides that. A little bit of firecracker shrapnel damage. It feels so funny sometimes how the firecracker gets so much damage for no reason when it doesn't look like it's going to get very much. You know, I think firecracker is the only card in the game that can't one-shot a, suspic a suspicious bush. Like, sometimes my firecracker will hit a suspicious bush with its shrapnel then it doesn't even fully reveal the bush for some reason. I don't know, it's very strange. Alright, anyways... I'm just going to play kind of chill right now. We don't really have any great stuff to cycle here. Okay, this should be a free King Tower activation, even though his Firecracker is on 1 HP. We should be able to get our King up here with the Ice Tiny, hopefully. Can't really do much into this Prince. He honestly might try to go for a Mega Knight at the bridge here. I think he will. Man, the Mega Knight Prince combo is so scary. And imagine Evolved Mega Knight. If he had like an Evo MK right now, we couldn't do anything. It would just push our Mighty Monitor into our tower and we'd just lose our tower. But luckily we do defend pretty well. Our King Tower is very useful here as well. I'll take the Hog hit. <laughs> My Hogs just never don't get hits pretty much. Except versus Cannoneer, I feel like they're not quite as good. Alright, so this guy has like no damage on us. We have a lot on him and also we have our King up, so yeah, should be looking pretty good. He has a really strange deck. I'm just going to Evo Tesla. It's pretty good to play your Evo Tesla up high if you can get away with it and still defend well because then... Whatever they play on your units, your Evo Tesla will just start shooting really quickly and be more likely to kill stuff before it dies. Yeah, so this Tesla should just take care of pretty much everything. The Evo Zap will be a little bit annoying here, but his push is already kind of dead. And also, uh, Prince will die here as well. Yeah, that should fully counter all of this. To be honest with you guys, I don't think Holgrader is too good right now, but if Drill falls off... I feel like that's all Hog needs to be really good in the meta. Nice, that's already, yeah, tower down. Yeah, honestly, guys, it's only Goblin Drill that's holding back Hog Rider right now in this meta. That, that's the main thing, at least, because stuff like P.E.K.K.A. you can beat quite nicely. All right, we're in the next one. We can just go for the Ice Tiny at the bridge here. Guys, I've been thinking about something. You guys know how I ran 50 miles, well, 52 miles a little while ago, last year towards the end of the year. Well... I don't know for sure, but maybe this year, or maybe a little bit after that, I'm planning to run 100 miles, hopefully, all at, all in one time. I don't know if I can do it, but this, this guy I know, he was able to do it. So, you know, I'm kind of inspired by that a little bit too. Yeah, ho hopefully I'm able to do it. That'll, that'll be pretty, uh, pretty crazy if I'm able to. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Skeletons. Okay, I think we're chilling. But yeah, anyways, guys... 100 miles will take me probably at least 24 hours. I mean, it takes maybe 24 hours for pretty good runners, but um, yeah, I'm not like as well trained as them, so it's probably going to take me super, super long. But yeah, it'll be interesting. I'm also going to have to see if I can perform well, even while being a bit sleep deprived, because you don't sleep at all. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, anyways, I'm kind of curious to see how we do here. We're actually facing... Pretty much the meta P.E.K.K.A deck right now with the Evo P.E.K.K.A, so... I wonder how our deck will do against that. I feel like we should do decent against Evo P.E.K.K.A. We do have Skeletons, which can kind of feed it up, obviously, but... Besides that, Firecracker is gonna be a really nice card against it. There's the Evo P.E.K.K.A. We're gonna have to spam as many Firecrackers as possible. Oh, you're kidding me. He just has arrows for no reason. <laughs> Dang it, man. Okay, I guess he does have it for a reason. I mean, you know, people are pretty annoyed at Firecracker in mid ladder so maybe that's why he's running the arrows he's gonna wizard here so i'll just go for a log to push it away from our tesla 
<laughs> what a prediction. What a prediction. That's so funny. Yeah, I'm really good at just knowing what my opponent's going to do. I'll Ice Tiny here, and I think the Evo P.E.K.K.A. should die. We can just Hog Rider for some damage, hopefully. It's going to be somewhat hard to defend here, though. Because the arrows are going to kind of mess us up. But we'll see if we can hopefully hold on for dear life against the Evo P.E.K.K.A. pushes. Yeah, the arrows are so annoying, man. He, he has not only arrows, but also the void, too. So he really can't stack firecrackers. I mean, we can, we can obviously try, but if he plays smart, he's never going to let them survive. We have to skeletons here, too. Yeah, this could be kind of bad. Once he gets a really big Evo P.E.K.K.A. push, I'm not really sure how we're going to stop it. This hog here should be decent just because our Evo Firecracker is going to get a lot of value. That is going to get some decent tower damage. Oh. Dude, what? What did that bandit just dash on? It just dash, dashed on a on a ghost on, on in thin air, or... I don't even know. We're still winning somehow, though. Man, this is annoying. Normally against P.E.K.K.A., it's a pretty good matchup because they can't really kill your firecracker with only a void. They can obviously kill it, but you outcycle them really easily. But since this guy has arrows, I think it's actually a pretty decent matchup for him. I feel like this one is really either player's game, though, to be honest. The Evo Wizard and Evo P.E.K.K.A. are both super annoying for us when we can't have our firecrackers stacked up as much. All right, we do have our Evo Cracker here. He can't really kill it now without his void. I'm going to Evo Tesla too. Hopefully our stuff kills everything. Yeah, I think we should be all good here. Going to Hog Rider again. Honestly, Evo Firecracker is pretty solid, even though it does die to arrows and stuff like that. It can still do a lot of damage when it actually does connect on stuff. Okay, that better kill the bandit and everything. I'm going to Mighty Miner too. Can't really trust my firecracker. The firecracker can, can either hit every single thing or just miss absolutely everything. Hopefully the ghost will die here. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you guys can see in this type of matchup, Evo P.E.K.K.A., the whole game plan is just to spam as many firecrackers as possible. Oh, you're kidding me. Dude, another lucky bandit. No, nah, these bandits. You cannot, you cannot be real with these bandits right now. I think we're fine though. Yeah, look at the... Look at the firecracker value. He just missed the zap. I, I don't know what he's doing here on the left side. It's not going to work, though. <laughs> Good game. We're up against Unknown Maester. I'll go in for the Hog Rider first play. I always do it no matter what. Even if I know my opponent's running a deck like Sparky that can punish me, I still always go for Hog first play. It's just a tradition at this point. Oh man, this is interesting. We can just go for a Tesla here. The arrows are not too nice for us to see. Hopefully he has only arrows and not a void or something too, otherwise this will be really difficult. We can go for the Mighty Miner ability. Mighty Miner is pretty nice in this matchup. Really quick solution for Lava Pups. Guys, so I told you my goal is to try to run 100 miles sometime soon. I don't know if I will this year, but at least next year I'm hoping to. So let me know in the comment section, what, what goals do you guys have? What, what upcoming goals are you guys trying to work towards? I'm curious. It doesn't only have to be physical things either. This guy does have the Goblin Cage version too, and barbs. Man, this will be tough. Goblin Cage is actually decent in Lava Hound now because of the evolution. He has Fireball instead of Void, which I guess will be a bit easier for us. I don't know if he has anything for the Mighty Monitor. They normally only have two ground cards. He played his Goblin Cage and barbs. Is he just dead right now? <laughs> he needs a miracle right now to stop this mighty miner right on his tower. Well, yeah, there goes mighty miner on the tower. The thing about Lava Hound is you can pretty much always recognize when their ground cards are in cycle or not in cycle. We just have to defend this one Lava Hound push right now. I'm just going to try to get an early Tesla off and then maybe cycle two Teslas. You want to make sure you don't play your Tesla too low, otherwise sometimes the balloon will bypass it. So you've got to be a little bit careful with that. Okay. Anyways. Yeah, so Lava Hound, they normally only have two ground cards in their deck, so you can easily keep track of those than just Mighty Miner the Bridge when they don't have it in cycle and just don't have much elixir and you just win the game basically right off of that. Yeah, this is so easy. <laughs> Man, this is way too easy. I'll see you guys in the next match. We're up against No Way Jose. He has the Cannoneer. Kenir is a little bit difficult for Hog Rider. I feel like it makes it a little bit harder to play in this meta, but it's not the end of the world. 
It is better than Princess Tower for sure against Hallgrider, but you could still break through it. It's not like Prime Dagger Duchess. I remember when Prime Dagger Duchess was a thing, people just decided not to play decks where you had to actually play a card to break through. You would just play cards that could either get right on the tower or spell cycle, basically. Or beatdown was kind of decent as well. This Hallgrider might be able to get one hit here, if we're lucky. I'll take it. If they play their bowler fully at the right time, they can actually fully counter with no hits when they have Cannoneer. Same goes with Mega Knight too. He actually has a weird Goblin Giant deck of some kind, I guess. He has Tornado too for some reason. Not really sure why. Uh, We're going to take some damage here. Shouldn't be too bad though. Yeah, I mean luckily that was not an Evo Goblin Giant. Evo Goblin Giant, when you have no Elixir and you don't have a Log or something in cycle, you just lose your whole tower. Even if it's only on a few HP. This Hog will get some pretty good damage here. Was not the best Tornado for him on offense. Now he's down quite a bit of damage. We just have to go for the Mighty Miner right here. I feel like Mighty Miner is a pretty good card. I always see Riley saying to buff Mighty Miner, but I don't really think it needs a buff. I feel like it's a quite balanced card. Not exactly meta, but it's definitely usable and it gets good value in the decks it's played in the decks it's played in aren't really meta right now but i don't know i feel like it's a pretty solid card if they gave it a buff they'd probably have to give it just a very very small buff of some kind honestly guys i've seen so much more mother witch recently i don't know why it's really annoying though i feel like even if i don't have almost any cards for it to get value off of except like skeletons it's still so annoying to deal with sometimes <laughs> that just got a hit somehow how did that just get a hit I mean, that's kind of average for my Hog Riders, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty surprising. He might try to go in for a Goblin Giant here. It will be an Evolution Goblin Giant. Yeah, there it is. Dude, I hope the Blur doesn't push it. He has an E-Drag too. Man, it's going straight to our tower. That's so dumb. I hate when the Blur is so heavy that it just pushes it out of the way. And also that log going right through the Spear Goblins. Oh, Tornado 1, absolutely nothing. Oh, well, that's, that's kind of nice, actually. Hog does not get a hit this time. The Firecracker may get some damage. We can log this back. I don't know if we'll get any shrapnel or not at this point. Okay, it's all good. We're in an okay position. Not really looking too good, though. I'm going to Skeletons here, too, to make sure the Firecracker doesn't get targeted by the E-Drag. Quite a few Elixir out of him. No damage for us, though. No point at this stage in the game to actually get our King up, to be honest. Not really going to help us out too much. Oh, Hog Rider once again. We can also log here, try to reset the bowler, kind of. Honestly, one of the best tips for Hog Rider Earthquake decks is to go for perfectly timed logs to reset stuff like mini P.E.K.K.A.s, bowlers, all that kind of thing to get an extra hog hit. Really helpful. Okay, we just need a log and an Earthquake, actually, to win, I think. I'm going to Evo Tesla. We are playing with level 14 cards right now, so... Uh, kind of forgot the spell damages, but now nah, I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure Earthquake Log will take it. If Hog doesn't get a hit. Okay. Yeah, we can just go for the Earthquake here. If it doesn't take it, I don't really care, but I'm nearly certain that it will. Yeah, okay, that's definitely taking it. Nice win. I don't know why so many mid ladder players seem to be using Dagger Duchess still. I would highly recommend you guys switch to either Princess Tower or Cannoneer. Okay, I will go for the King Tower activation here. The only decks that are really good for Dagger Duchess are Eagle, and then maybe Giant Double Prince is okay with it. This will be a really helpful thing for us here to have our King Tower up. He probably has a Mortar Miner deck. Yeah, there's the Miner, so King Tower is going to be pretty useful. You can do that King Tower activation with Goblins, Spear Goblins, Skeletons. Really helpful. And by the way, guys, before people freak out, I do have two accounts. I sometimes see people saying, like, how one time I'm in a certain arena, then another time I'm in a different arena. The reason why is because I have two accounts. So, yeah. I'm going to Tesla for this. That's a really good log here on this side. We're already up so much damage thanks to Dagger Duchess just sucking a little bit. I don't want it to get a buff though, honestly. If it got a buff, that would actually be a pretty big indirect buff to E-Golem, if you think about it. This hog might get some decent damage. Um, Interesting bar barrel. <laughs> Not really sure what that's for. I'm going to Earthquake this. You can always play your Earthquake on defense. Don't be afraid to do it. Counter stuff like Goblin Gang, Goblins. Definitely can help you out in some scenarios. It's probably not even that bad against Evo P.E.K.K.A. either, because against Evo P.E.K.K.A., 
you don't really want to play your skeletons or anything like that to distract it usually, so you might have to just sometimes play Earthquake to slow it down and let your stuff kill it. Okay, I'm just going to Mighty Monitor here. We have to be pretty careful of this Evo Mortar, even though we do have an Earthquake deck, Evo Mortar still can be a little bit of a punishing card. I feel like Evo Mortar is really broken. I don't know, I mean, Mortar in general is just kind of broken right now, but especially the Evo Mortar seems so good. I'm kind of surprised that only just now people seem to finally be playing it a lot. Dude, how did that still get a hit on our tower? That doesn't even make sense. Our hog here is going to die either way. No point to do too much. Just going to firecracker. I'll ignore the spear goblins. Not going to be too much damage. Terrible miner for his... no reason at all. Alright, so here's where we have to try to punish him. We do have our firecracker with a little bit of HP. I guess it... yeah, it does just die, but that was a beautiful log. I sometimes unintentionally predict my opponents without even really trying to. The reason why is because I just get my cycle set up perfectly, so I always have my counters in hand to their units. Yeah, this guy's definitely dead at this point. Alright then, I'll see you guys in the next match. We're up against DJ Rick. I hate his music. Also, I don't know why we're facing so much Dagger Duchess. Our win streak is looking pretty good right now. I really hope we can stay undefeated in this video. If we lose... I'm probably just going to end the video. This guy does have Mega Knight. I'm just thinking about how annoying it's going to be to deal with the evolved Mega Knight. I'm so thankful right now every time I see Mega Knight that it's not Evo just yet. Okay, Mega Knight does unfortunately jump. Doesn't really matter at all though. Mighty Miner's quite a good counter to it. But honestly, Mighty Miner will be so bad against Evo Mega Knight because it just knocks it in the air each time. Resetting the Mighty Miner's charge or whatever. So that'll be really annoying to deal with. I might even have to put Knight in the deck or something over Mighty Miner when Evo Mega Knight comes out. We can pretty much ignore the rest of the Skelly Barrow here. Our King Tower is definitely going to help us out quite a bit. Hog will get one hit here. Almost a second. Nothing too good here. I'll just Mighty Miner. Should do the job. Okay. Yeah, so I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like this deck is just really good right now in, in this meta. I'm feeling so good right now with Hog. I mean, it's so good in this meta, but we're in the mid ladder meta right now. I don't know how it's going to be at top ladder. I feel like at top ladder towards the end of the season, everyone always runs these tryhard cycle decks. Or sometimes tryhard not cycle decks that still happen to counter our deck. But I don't know, guys. Low key, I could see myself doing pretty well at the end of the season with this deck if Drill isn't super popular. It kind of was popular last end season so i don't know if i could have done well with it there maybe i'll push one account with um hog rider and then another account with goblin drill like i usually do these days also wait this guy this guy has pekka and mega knight wait that's interesting dude evolved pekka and evolved mega knight in the same deck imagine that dude that'll be so toxic and this guy does have an evolved pekka not an evolved mega knight just yet but yeah, Evolved P.E.K.K.A. Yeah, there's the Evo P.E.K.K.A. It's going to be annoying to stop, actually. We're, gonna, we're just going to have to try to spam as many Firecrackers as possible. Going to be really hard to kill this P.E.K.K.A. though. Oh, the Mighty Miner ability did not go off. Okay, we just have to try to DPS down this P.E.K.K.A. from afar, I guess. I'm not really sure. P.E.K.K.A. is overhealed a little bit as well, which is kind of annoying. I've actually never seen a fully healed Evolved P.E.K.K.A. I don't even think I saw close to a fully healed Evolved P.E.K.K.A. Must be kind of crazy though. Nice, I think we're gonna do fine here. Yeah, pretty also... Also pretty nice to just have our King Tower up, so... Yeah, very nice win. We're up against... Pert. Oh, excuse me. Will Burt. We're currently 21-0, to zero, guys, so if we win this game, we'll be 22-0. to zero. I really hope we can do it. I don't know when this video will end <laughs> if I don't just cut it off because as everyone knows, I don't lose that often. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens here. Also guys, let me know in the comment section what I would have to do for you to subscribe. Like what challenge would I have to do because I'm planning to make a video soon with Furnace. So let me know if you guys would subscribe for a Furnace video. That, that sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, this guy definitely has E-Golem. A little bit of a difficult matchup, to be honest. Ever since they started running, really just the void, it became super difficult. Firecracker is going to do a really good job even so, though. Just because we can use our Mighty Miner 3 card cycle. 
Yeah, honestly, I don't know if I'd actually put Knight over Mighty Monitor, even when the Evo MK comes out, because if I do, I'm going to lose the three-card cycle to spam my Firecrackers, so that would be a little bit annoying. I feel like Knight is mostly better against stuff like P.E.K.K.A., but this deck already beats P.E.K.K.A. anyways. This Evo Firecracker is going to carry us quite a bit. Okay, it does die. Man, I miss when Evo Firecracker used to survive arrows. That was such a nice time for Firecracker. Okay, we're completely fine here. That was a terrible e and push. Luckily, e and players aren't that smart on average, it feels like. This Firecracker will get quite a bit of value. Not going to be Tower Down or anything like that, but still should be... I mean, most of the Tower Down, actually. And Firecracker will get one hit here unless he responds to it. But the Firecracker is such a strange card because a while back Supercell balanced it out to where it would no longer get a hit at 1 HP ever on the tower, but it still does get a hit at 1 HP sometimes. It hasn't happened to me in a while, but a couple of times my opponents got Firecrackers with 1 HP that weren't being tanked for, and the tower just let it get one shot somehow. I think it really depends on where it's angled or something like that, like where it's running from. Okay, this evil Firecracker will be beautiful. Even if he kills it, it's still... Still the first shot that's really important. Well, two shots, actually. Yeah, I think this guy's dead at this point. Alright, guys. Well, I think I think we'll call it at 22-0, to zero, honestly. Otherwise, I'll be playing for days. Yeah, this guy's not breaking through. Alright, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!